Kids Story Corner. Innocent guilt. My friends at school say daddy is bad. Mommy says daddy is a good man. Mr. Patrick, our English teacher, says daddy is a hopeless drunkard. I hear him tell Mr. Kofi one day. Mr. Kofi is our math teacher. We call him Mr. Sams. And when I ask mommy what drunkard means, she says it is just a fancy word. Fancy is the name of my best friend at school. I look at Fancy's notebook and there I see her name. F-A-N-C-Y. I stop spelling fancy as fancy. Drunkard is a fancy word and fancy is my best friend. Mr. Patrick says daddy is a helpless drunkard. If that is a fancy word, the name of my best friend, then my daddy is my best friend. I guess Mr. Patrick is wrong. Daddy is not my best friend. Fancy is. I think the word helpless means best friend. Daddy beats mommy every day and she cries. I cry too when he beats her. He always shouts at her. I think my friends are right when they say daddy is bad. Is mommy wrong when she says daddy is a good man? Mommy, why is daddy always beating you? I ask mommy one day. Mommy keeps quiet, then looks up at me. Isabella, your daddy is not beating me. But you cry when he beats you. Now, go to your room. Stop disturbing me with your questions. Four-year-olds don't ask questions like you do. Mommy, Chidi and Samuel and Destiny and, and Christabel and Moyosuri say Daddy is bad. Mommy looks unhappy. Who are these people? Mommy almost shouts. They are my friends at school. Mommy hugs me and says, my friends are not telling the truth. They are just talking rubbish, she says. Then I see that her lower DP split. I am not happy. I know it is daddy's fault. Isabella! Isabella! It is daddy. Yes, daddy! I run into the house. Daddy stands over the television, and when he sees me, he points at the floor. Your bad boy won't disturb you again. I jump back. I shout. Mommy runs into the living room from the kitchen. What is it? She asks Daddy. Daddy laughs. He ignores her. He points at the floor and she sees it. Mommy hisses. But you should not have shown her the rat. You know she's scared of rats. It is okay, my queen. The bad boy will never disturb you again in your room. Daddy says, looking into my eyes. I have made him a good rat now. A good rat? I ask daddy. Yes, my queen. I have made him a good rat with these. Daddy holds up a small bottle. You can make all the rats in this world good with these. Even human beings. Daddy laughs. Mommy looks at him. It is the type of look she gives me when she says I am talkative. Your bad boy is now a good boy. He is going to sleep forever. Never wake up. I stare at the big rat on the floor. Daddy, how did you make him good? Daddy smiles. 
I simply pour this. He holds the small bottle close to my face. In some food and your bad boy ate the food. Daddy laughs again. Now he will not wake up. I try to read the words on the small bottle. They are very difficult to read. I try to spell them. They are also long words. Only one word is short. I spell it. P L I S O N. No. He's now a good rat. All he wants now is big sleep. Let me take him somewhere. He will sleep the way he wants it. Nobody will disturb him there. And he will never come back to your room again. Daddy laughs again. But mommy is angry. You don't show a small child something like this. She points at the small bottle in daddy's hand. Daddy ignores her. I am happy that daddy has turned the bad rat in my room into a good rat. I like daddy for that. I don't think daddy is bad. Maybe mommy is right and my friends are wrong. Mr. Patrick is also right. Daddy is a hopeless drunkard. My fancy. My best friend. I will tell my friends about the rat in my room. And how my fancy daddy, my hopeless drunkard daddy, turns the bad rat into a good rat. Then I will ask Mr. Patrick what the words helpless and drunkard mean. He seems to know all the words in the dictionary, the big book on his desk. Mommy always says I should ask reasonable questions in class to be sure of anything. She says that is how I will learn and even start to build my vocabulary. Like Mr. Patrick. Mommy knows a lot of strange words. And Daddy too. I think he knows more strange words than Mommy. He pronounces them when he beats her. Motherfucker. Bitch. Useless hoe. No entity. Witch. I think I will also ask Mr. Patrick about these words. He always praises me and says I am intelligent. The most intelligent kid in the whole of Benny City. Fair little angel. These are all for me. And he never fails to stroke my long hair. He says Chidi and Moyasori are not like me. They are just some mischievous brat. He always says about them. And both Chidi and Moyasori will laugh when they hear the strange words. I want Mr. Patrick to call me that too, but he will not. Mine is always intelligent. I think I will ask him to start calling me mischievous brat. No, I like mischievous. The other word has rat in it, and I hate rat. You are going to wake Isabella in her room. Oh no, please. Mama's crying voice makes me afraid. I hear the sounds of cane lashes in daddy's vocabulary. He has three new vocabulary tonight. Harlot, old brat, nick and poop. Brat, the same word Mr. Patrick uses. Chidi and Moyosori's brat. Mommy's cries are beginning to get louder and I am afraid they will wake good rat from his sleep and make him bad again. I turn on the bedside lamp. I hurry out of my room. Mommy comes running out of their room and runs into me. We both cry. Daddy follows her and flogs us hard. Uncle Isra 
runs into our house and rescues us from daddy. They start shouting at each other. More vocabulary comes from daddy. Uncle Ezra doesn't seem to have any vocabulary. He has only one vocabulary, which is precautious. I hear him tell daddy one day that I am a precautious child at four. Uncle Ezra just shouts back at daddy. No vocabulary. Unlike daddy, Uncle Ezra doesn't beat Mama Ifunaya. Mommy says he's a kind neighbor. He always comes to her rescue when daddy beats her. I want to live in Uncle Ezra's house and play with Ifunaya. I want daddy to stop beating mommy. I want daddy to be like good rat. Where is your mother, Isabella? Daddy walks as if he's going to fall. Like Ifunaya, Uncle Ezra's little daughter. Mommy says she is a toddler. I think daddy is a toddler too. He always walks like Ifunaya and always falls. His breath always smells like mango and orange and yam and cassava and wine. She went to Uncle Ezra's house. Oh, that house! Daddy belches. Playing with tiny Mirabelle? He smiles, pointing at Mirabelle, and he walks like Ifunaya into the house. Mirabelle is my best friend, like Fancy. She is a beautiful doll. When I grow up, I am going to give Mirabelle to Ifunaya, and Mommy will get me a bigger Mirabelle. And I hear Daddy shout. I think he is not going to sleep. Daddy shouts again. I hold Mirabelle in my hand. He shouts again. I look at Mirabelle. I am not happy that Daddy will not sleep. I think I. He shouts again. I start to move towards the house. Mirabelle dances in my hand. I stop and listen. Daddy is not shouting now. I think he is asleep. I push the door and enter the living room. Daddy lies on the floor. His shirt is in his hand. He has thrown his plates of food on the floor. I think he is not asleep. He stares at me with big eyes, like good rat's eyes when I saw him on the floor. Daddy's mouth has blood, like good rat's mouth. Will Daddy wake up? Will he be like good rat? Never beats mommy again. I think he will be good, like good rat. I think he will never beat mommy again. I think he has eaten all the good rat poison I put in his food. You can make all the rats in this world good rats, even human beings. I think Daddy will become a good human being, sleep, and not beat Mommy again.